Hello, friends, and welcome to Encouragement for Today. Rays of hope to illuminate and carry us through these old wicked, dark times of unrest. Well, friend, I want to invite you today to take your Bible and turn with me over to Psalm number 106. Psalm number 106. I was reading uh, this particular psalm this morning, and one verse of Scripture just really reached into my spirit. And I pray that uh, this verse will reach into your spirit as well. You know, we've reached a season that we call Thanksgiving. I tell everyone that Thanksgiving ought to happen every day. Amen? It really should. But this verse of Scripture just spoke to my spirit this morning and encouraged me, and I pray that it'll do the same for you. Notice verse number 1 of Psalm 106. Praise ye the Lord. O oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, and his mercy endureth forever. You know, my friend, I don't know about you, but that verse of Scripture just really lets me know how important it is to have a thankful heart. I mean, notice it begins right away with this word. Praise ye the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. Well, you know, some people are probably saying, well, Brother Danny, what do we have to praise God for right now? I mean, we are in the midst of a plague and a pandemic, and uh, things are just going wild. Well, bless God, you was able to get up this morning, and uh, God uh, continues to breathe the breath of life into your, into your life, and so that's wonderful. Uh, so you're alive, and that's a lot to praise God for. Praise you the Lord. And then the psalmist goes on to say, Oh, give thanks unto the Lord. Not only should we praise him, but we ought to stop and thank him. Every day should be a day of thanksgiving. Every day. Not just uh, one time a year, but every day should be a thanksgiving day. And then, of course, the psalmist tells us why we should praise the Lord and give thanks to him. Number one. He tells us in this verse of Scripture, for he is good. Hallelujah. God is good all the time. And all the time, God is good. God is a good God. Uh, I mean, think about the goodness of God for just a moment. He loved you so much that he sent his only begotten son to die on the old rugged cross of Calvary uh, for your sin. Should have been your cross, but Jesus bore that cross for you. God is good. So we ought to praise him. We ought to be thankful because God is good. Now notice what he closes out verse 1 with. For his mercy endureth, listen, forever. Mercy. Thank God for his mercy. Mercy is that love that responds to our human need in an unexpected or unmerited way. In other words, we didn't do anything to deserve God's mercy. At its core, mercy is forgiveness. The Bible speaks of God's love for sinners. That is for all of us. The Bible also relates mercy to other qualities beyond love and forgiveness. But God is a God of mercy. I don't know about you, friend, but these words just really picked me up this morning. I am so grateful that our God is good and that his mercy endures forever. So today I choose to praise him and I choose to offer thanksgiving to this God that is so good. Thank you, Lord, for being good and a God of mercy. I hope these words has encouraged you like they have me today. May God bless you and be with you. And listen, you encourage someone else if you've been encouraged today. Have a great day.